Now this video is going to cover about Hess's law and Hess's law is basically based on that enthalpy is a state function or in other words the enthalpy of a chemical reaction is independent of the pathway between the initial and the final states. So using this definition we will be able to calculate the enthalpy change of any reaction. So let's go ahead and see how do we do it. Calculate delta H for the reaction. A reaction is given to you. So you have to, in order to calculate the delta H for the reaction, so we asked to use the following reaction. P4 plus 3O2 giving you P4O6 and the delta H is given. And there is another reaction, P4 plus 5O2 giving you P4O10, delta H is given. So how do you go about it? So before starting to uh, do, just observe. So the given reaction P4O10 giving you P4O6 uh, indicates that P4O6 should be the uh, product and P4O10 should be the reactant. So looking at the reactions given to you, the second equation P4O10 has uh, uh, P4O10, uh, the formation of P4O10 has P4O10 in the product side. Since I want it in the reactant side, so, what the first step I will do will be to reverse that equation. So, the first equation I can leave it as is. So, using when you are doing an Hess's uh, equation, just consider the main product and the reactant and uh, try to match it with what is asked. For example, in this case, uh, even oxygen is dead. Don't do much about the oxygen because it appears in both the equations. So what is it I'm going to do now is I'm just going to reverse equation number 2. So the first equation is written as is and the second equation is reversed. Now if you look at uh, the two equations carefully, you will see that I have uh, P4 solid on the reactant side. I have P4 solid on the product side also and therefore they get cancelled. Then I have 3 oxygen on the reactant side for the first equation and 5 oxygen on the product side on the second equation. They also get cancelled leaving 2 oxygens in the product side. Now if I add up the 2, I will get P4O10 solid. There is nothing else left in the reactant side. 2 P4O6 solid and the remaining 2 oxygen. Since I added the equation, you need to add the delta H also. One more thing you should notice is whenever I reverse equation 2, you see that the delta H for equation 2 is also changed from negative 2940.12, positive 2940.1. So these are the simple facts you should remember. Whatever you do to the equation, you must do to the value of delta H also. Calculate delta H for the reaction N2H4 liquid plus H2O2, 2H2O2 giving you nitrogen for 4 water and you are given the following reactions. The first reaction is N2H4 reacting with oxygen and then I have uh, water breaking up into hydrogen and oxygen. Delta H is given for both the reaction and I have the third reaction with hydrogen peroxide giving you hydrogen and oxygen. So using these three reactions, I need to get the uh, delta H for the reaction of N2H4 with H2O2. So now as always, first I will observe the reaction given and I realize that water is in the product side and uh, equation 2 uh, is the one which, will, uh, which has product in the reactant side. Though the first equation has water on the product side, I will need more water. So therefore, I will just reverse equation 2 and since I need 4 moles of water and I get 2 from the first equation, I will multiply equation number 2 with 2. Now uh, the next uh, reactant is H2O2 and H2O2, I have 2 H2O2 on the equation which is asked. So I will multiply equation 3 by 2. So now whatever I said, I will write it down again. The first equation is written as is. The second equation is reversed and multiplied by 2. And uh, the value of delta H is also multiplied by 2 and reversed. 
and the third equation is multiplied by 2 and the value of delta H is also multiplied by 2. So when I uh, look at what all gets cancelled you can see that the oxygen from the first equation and the second equation add up to 2 oxygen and gets cancelled with the oxygen of the third equation. Then hydrogen that also gets cancelled both on the from the second and the third equation and then um, that's all nothing gets cancelled. So now add up whatever is remaining I get N2H4 plus 2H2O2 plus nitrogen plus 4 water and this is what the equation they have asked for and uh, add up the delta H also to get the value for delta H. Calculate delta H for the reaction CS2 reacting with oxygen giving you carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide and you have been asked to use the reactions carbon plus oxygen giving you carbon dioxide sulfur plus oxygen giving you sulfur dioxide and the reaction of carbon and sulfur to give you carbon disulfide all the delta H values are given. So when I look at that uh, the first thing I see that I need uh, 2 SO2. So that means the second equation which has SO2 will be multiplied by 2 and uh, the third equation I need CS2 on the reactant side hence I will reverse the third equation. So that's all. Now I will write whatever I said that in a um, um, modified way now. Second equation is multiplied by 2, the third equation is reversed and accordingly the value of uh, delta H is also changed. Now you can see that the carbon is same on, um, 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 can get cancelled. Sulfur from equation 2 and sulfur from equation 3 get cancelled and then uh, what else is there and then that's all. Just add the three equations you will see that I am left with CS2 from equation 3 and then uh, 3 oxygen from equation 1 and 2 giving you carbon dioxide and 2 SO2 that's what I wanted and adding gives the correct value for delta H also. So uh, if we calculate delta H for the given equation again one more B2H6 plus Cl2 giving you BCl3 plus HCl use the following equations. There is a reaction of BCl3 plus water giving you H3BO3. Then B2X6 uh, reacts with water to give you again H3BO3. And then the last equation is a reaction with uh, hydrogen and chlorine giving you HCl. The delta H for all the reactions are given. So the first uh, reaction has BCl3 on the reactant side. And I need BCl3 on the product side. And I need 2 moles of BCl3. So I will reverse it and multiply it by 2. And then the last equation I will multiply it by 12 because um, I need uh, HCl, 6 HCl. I will already get two H, uh, 6 HCl from the first equation. So in order to balance that I will get, I will multiply the last equation by 12. So whatever I said that I will write it down again and that is what you can see there. And uh, delta H is also changed accordingly. And you will see that the H3BO3 gets cancelled and water gets cancelled and in HCl and yeah hydrogen also gets cancelled. The hydrogen from second and the last one gets cancelled and HCl I have 6 in the first equation and 12 in the second equation. So which results in 6 HCl. So now the next step what I do is I just add up all the equations. So when I add up, I get the equation which is as B2H6 plus 6 chlorine giving you 2BCl3 and 6HCl and the value of delta H uh, the when added up gives me 649 kilojoules per mole.